first in HD. 11 News at noon. Good afternoon. I'm Ron Trevino. Thank you very much for joining us. We begin with breaking news. We first brought you earlier this morning a four alarm fire at a high rise in southwest Houston where senior citizens live. We have several reporters covering the story for you. Here's the latest information we have. It turned to, into a four alarm fire, but now the fire is out. Firefighters tell us three people are hurt and are being treated at area hospitals, including Memorial Southwest. Another 12 people suffered minor injuries and were treated at the scene. But a manager of the complex tells us everyone is accounted for. At this point, firefighters aren't sure what caused the fire, but they're still on the scene trying to figure that out. And here's a live look from Air 11 over the scene. You can see plenty of firefighters are still on the scene. We understand they are still going door to door in that complex to make sure that everyone has been accounted for. The building is located in the 7200 block of Bell Reeve Drive, and that's where we find Carla Barriarena with the latest on the fire. Carla. Hey there, Ron. We've been here for almost two hours now, and as you mentioned, the fire is out, fortunately, but it is still a very active scene out here. If I can get my photographer, Frank McBride, to zoom in on the seventh floor, this is where the fire is suspected to have broken out. You may be able to see that there are still a couple of firefighters still working there, double-checking, triple-checking, if you will, that all the hot spots are out. Now, down below, it is still also a very active situation. Dozens of firefighters out here. They're trying to find out how this fire began in the first place. And during our coverage earlier today, we heard from dozens of concerned residents, residents who had mothers here, fathers here, and even friends who know people who live in this housing project. They came out here to find out how their loved ones were doing. Many of them were concerned because of the, all the people who live inside, they say most of them are severely disabled. They were having a difficult time getting out. And as we've mentioned, we know that they rescued at least three residents on a ladder truck. Here's what some residents had to tell us. We, we was afraid of this. Now she's on the fourth floor. She can't move. She can't walk. And how is she going to get off that building? Now, I got to find out what is the next step this location is going to do for severe disabled elderly people. The good news is Ms. Sharon Randolph has gotten word from her mother. Apparently, she tells me the manager of this complex has printed out a list to tell residents, to tell their loved ones and families that they are okay. Sharon saw her mother's name on this list. She tells us she has not been able to find her mother out in this active scene. She's not been able to talk to her, but because of the list, going by that list, she thinks her mother is doing just fine. And like her, we've talked to dozens of other concerned residents who are tonight or t this morning just breathing a sigh of relief thanking everyone that their loved ones are okay and with me next to me is rex russell who has been covering the situation from the beginning as well rex what have you found out well we've uh, basically just been gathering the uh, survival stories from a number of residents who have approached us and talked about uh, surviving the smoke running out of the building as fast as they could people pounding on the doors just a lot of uh, frayed nerves this morning, but I think a, a lot of relief right now from the residents that we've managed to uh, get into contact with. And we've seen some happy reunions with many of their family members who arrived here a short while ago, not knowing what had happened, seeing some of the reports on television, and of course, uh, fearing the worst, and then arriving, seeing their loved one, and warm embraces. So uh, basically a lot of heartfelt stories from people who survived the nightmare. Right. Many of the residents told us that they were fearing that something like this would happen. They didn't feel that they had security measures in place for a situation like this. We will be looking into that matter, bring you much more later on on 11 News at 5 and 6. For now, I am Carla Barguerino reporting live in Southwest Houston. Ron, back to you.